So in this video, you'll learn how to install and set up WhatsApp on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. So the first step is to just open the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store, and then you want to use the search function, and you're just going to type in the word WhatsApp, and then search. You should see it appearing in the search results, so go ahead and select it, and then tap on install and wait for the app to be downloaded onto your phone. Once it's been downloaded, you can tap on open to launch it, or you can navigate back to the home screen or to the app store, look for the app icon and tap on it to launch it. From here, the next step when it comes to setting up WhatsApp is to choose the language you're going to be using it in. By default, it automatically chooses your device language, but you can scroll through the list of supported languages and select one that suits your preferences. When you're ready, just tap on this arrow button to go to the next step. From here, you need to then scroll down and agree to the privacy policy as well as terms of service. And once you've agreed, you now need to allow WhatsApp to send you notifications and then enter in your phone number so that WhatsApp can verify that you uh, have a phone number. So just go ahead and type it in. Once you've entered in the phone number, tap on next. And then and remember to ensure that the phone number you've entered is correct and tap on next and then confirm that that is your phone number by tapping on yes. From here, you'll now need to go through the verification process. So this can be having a phone call being sent to the phone number or even just an SMS with its own code. So it's up to you to decide which verification method you prefer to use and then just go ahead and continue with the verification. Bear in mind that this will need you to give WhatsApp access to either your messages or your call logs and contacts. So just go ahead and allow that. And then wait for the call to be requested. And then once the call has been requested and verified by WhatsApp, you'll then need to give WhatsApp access to other permissions. So this includes permissions to your contacts, permissions to access music and audio on your device, as well as access to photos. You, now you can choose to allow limited access, so you can choose which select images WhatsApp is allowed to access, use, or you can choose to allow all, it's completely up to you. Once you've done that, if you have any backups available, you'll also be prompted to restore a backup, as well as give yourself a nickname for WhatsApp. Then tap on next. Tap on skip if you want if you want if you don't want to feel like adding your email, or you can choose to tap on add email and continue with that. And then wait for it to get ready. And once done, you should now be able to see the WhatsApp homepage. So from here, you can now start using WhatsApp successfully set up on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, Leave them down below and we'll get back to you.